Hello guys, Goroncraft here, and I'm back in the Hardcore World. Uh, ooh, mobs are frozen or something. Uh, so as you can see, I'm back in the Hardcore World. Uh, as you might have heard during my wait, how is my sound doing? It's kind of loud. Um, as you might have heard during my December Minecraft Hardcore Challenge episode number two, and um, I've done some. Uh, I've I went back home because we forgot our horse and it wasn't all very useful and all so i went back home i finished the sheep farm and uh, that's just uh, as you can see right here it's done it has enough holes so uh, what going, we're going to do in just a bit is put in the sheep which is going to be a really stupid task but it's not going to be too bad i hope uh, i have a plan just came up with it like one second ago but uh, <laughs> i think it will work actually yeah uh, it involves multiple cages, cages and leads. And oh, that was terrible lag. Uh, maybe we should actually. No, oh, I don't really have blocks that can cover that up. But anyway, uh, as I also told, I've done some major, and I really mean major, improvements on the uh, the Nether Fort. Uh, it's a real uh, wither uh, killing machine kind of thing. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. That's bad, that's bad. I better grab this and grab back my other sword and have a look. Have we? No, I'm breaking. I thought we had looting. Oh, hey, don't hurt me. Uh, so here's a small cage kind of thing to protect me from any mobs over there. But as you can see, everything's flattened flat. It's all flattened out. Or uh, yeah, it's all flat. I destroyed pretty much everything except for the blaze spawner, which I torched up pretty good. And ooh, they're shooting at me. Uh, and as you can see, wither skeletons everywhere, they're spawning like crazy. Uh, so, if we are lucky, which we probably are not, but oh shit, with the wither effect, this is not good. Freaking skeletons though. Oh gosh, I hit a Pikmin. That's not very useful. Oh, freak. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, magma cubes, what? Oh gosh, everything's going crazy. This is madness. And no, it's not spot. Holy shit! This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Kill the freaking skeleton. Ah, leg, no. Die, everybody, please die. Alright, <laughs> we survived. Thanks, goodness. That was quite something, actually. But as you could see, there was a lot of winter skeletons. Uh, I made these things, like, if I'd be chased by one, like this one, uh, they're two and a half or three blocks tall, so they can't go underneath. And we can just kill them. Easily. And so yeah, off screen I'll be probably farming here. I kind of want to do a big episode of this farming because I do want to have recorded that I gotten my first with a uh, with a head like all legit no cheating or anything like that so that's going to be one episode soon probably and to Skype shut up Skype I'm recording um uh, I've made these walls because uh, on a server me and my friends have. I already talked about that server once. Um, uh, Winter skeletons have pretty far knockback, so they always knocked me off the uh, off the fortress. So I made two whole high walls, so that that doesn't happen too easily. And let's just kill all these stupid blazes and all these stupid magma creams and all these. Oh well, not the Pikmin, but <laughs> that might not be a very great idea. But these magma creams gotta go. 
They're stupid. Oh yay, free stone swords. Always wanted one of those. Oh shit, these stupid small things do damage. I always forget that uh, small magma cube, the smallest ones. Um, slime? Small slimes don't do any damage whatsoever. But small magma cubes do, and it's kind of annoying. Because I always seem to forget that they do damage, and then you have an entire swan of little baby zombie, or a uh, no, baby zombie. What's um, small magma cubes. But anyway, um, when we are on that side of the fortress, uh, this side of the fortress is not loaded. So when we walk back, uh, when we walk back to this side of the fortress, uh, new things will have spawned. Such as this stupid skeleton, but also a new wither. Hey, don't stop it. <laughs> Whoa, more. He scared me. Um, but yeah, uh, there's like a very small chance of Wither Skeletons dropping a Wither School. So with this um, giant freaking fortress, we m made them spawn, because they're also pretty rare to spawn. But we made them spawn a lot more often, so that's already helping. And if we would have a Looting Sword, I think there's a 7% chance of spawning. Which is also not the best, but it's a lot better. Ooh, there's a hole. Might have to fix that, but I don't really have any resources to be able to fix that. So. Whoopsie. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the entire Nether Fortress. But right now, I think I'm going to run around one more quick round we don't have a school yet too bad but uh, of course it's kind of it makes sense we don't find any schools because we don't have a looting tree although it kind of doesn't make sense that it doesn't drop his head like in real life you would kill it and then he would be dead and you could grab his head whenever you want right that makes a lot more sense though <coughs> but of course this is Minecraft <laughs> Like, one, a, a skeleton has, uh, drops like one or zero to two bones, I think. Although it has like a thousand bones. or Well, maybe not, maybe not a thousand. I might be overreacting, but... Uh, let's say 500? I don't know. I'm not that much of a nerd that I know how many bones there's in a human skeleton thing. Uh, let's put down the bed and sleep and we will check out on how we are going to get the sheep out of here into there so I think the first thing we should do is make sure they don't fall into the other pens so I'm going to grab some blocks although I think I have dirt yeah we have quite some dirt all right so I'm going to place dirt around these things so they don't go in don't go in here oh um right i'm back uh, my mom called me and she says uh, that i can go downstairs and help with decorating the christmas tree because christmas is always is almost coming of course and uh, my dad is going to china don't really know why for his job of course but like why would you go to freaking china and not that I have anything against China or anything, but it's kind of a dirty, uh, unhealthy country compared to uh, Holland or other countries that I know. Um, but <laughs> sorry, let's stop offending people and start getting out the sheep. And once we've got some sheep out, I think I'll have to stop because I kind of want to help decorating the tree, of course, because it's freaking Christmas, I gotta help with that. So let's get the sheep out of here, and uh, let's, do we have leads available here? No, we don't, don't have any leads. Um, it's going to be quite a difficult job, actually. I might do it off screen, because it's going to take so much time to 
put it on screen. I don't even know how I'm going to do it actually. Uh, where are the leads? Here they are. Alright, I'm going to take two sheep at a time and put them in a cage. Uh, let's see how I'm going to do that. So, one, two, and... They are coming with me. And they're going into a random cage. Come on. Come on, guys. In. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get the hell in. Get in. There we go. They're in. Alright. So that's one cage. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Um, but I'll do it off screen. Now, sorry if this episode is a bit short. I have to go. Um, I'll make some more videos today. Probably. And of course Monday we'll have the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. And yeah, some other things that I want to do. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I've been Goracraft. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.